you, but I feel like November is a really good time for animation. Like it just, I don't know if it's the holidays or if it's just like the warm and coziness of it all, but it's like, I always want to watch more animation during November. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to be watching Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron, not Cimmerillion, like I always say, Cimarron. It's interesting, when I was looking up stuff to watch today, I did happen to notice that this this movie has some crazy reviews on it. Like, people love this movie or they hate this movie. I didn't look at them in detail. I don't know why exactly it's so divided. But I'm really curious now to see why exactly people are so torn on it. And I'd like to see what I think about it. So, hang around with me and let's watch Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron. A little rough in the CGI though. It definitely looks 2002. I feel like you could have animated that with just the hand-drawn look or hand-drawn completely and it would have looked a lot better. There's a weird plastic quality to it. They say the history of the West was written from the saddle of a horse, but it's never been told from the heart of one. I remember the sun and the sky, wild horses ran free. Oh, that's really cool. I don't know. They all kind of just look like carbon copies of each other. I, I don't want to. I don't want to get nitpicky. I don't want to get assy about the animation. It's just. It is what it is. It's old. A little more intense than you normally see in a cartoon. I can't relate. Mine are all extracted. Ah, you. Okay, I relate to that. So what's the over under on the mom getting killed horribly in the next 10 minutes? Ah, <laughs> what a little shit. Don't get stuck. <laughs> That's a lesson you only have to learn once. <laughs> get out of the way, squirt. Interesting, did they not talk? Lying, there were times I believed I could. But you can't, so I mean, watch it. I thought he was gonna just like cliff dive or something. I'm no farmer, but I know you break a leg and you're done. See, the, the landscape, the background right now is beautiful. You're gonna get your head kicked off. I've seen National Geographic. You know, I've never been into horses. Like, seems like girls are always, like, obsessed with horses. I never really was. I, I respect them. I, I, I admire them to a point, but they I, they never had that draw for me. Which is ironic, considering I collect little plastic ones. And I have since, you know, I was basically born. I'm pretty sure horses can't actually, like, safely have twins. I feel like I saw that on Dr. Pole. Well, human beings, that's where everything gets fucked up. I like this. They speak horse talk to each other, but you can tell exactly what they're saying. Oh, he's telling to get away. Oh, no. It just doesn't seem a good idea, man. You're not thinking about your family at all. I wanted to know what strange creatures were here. Curiosity gets your ass captured and enslaved, is my guess. They're trying to make this cute, but I know this can't go anywhere good. <laughs> oh, I hate this. Oh, mama, go back. She thought he wasn't gonna make it out of babyhood. Cause he was so nuts. I just started relaxing. At least my mother and the herd were safe. For now. I know how these things go. Never gonna give it, never gonna give it up. If you can't catch a wave, then you're never gonna ride it. And take me, I'm free. You can't come up. Dealt with wild horses before. This one will be no different. I don't 
get why it at this point in history why it would be any easier to try to take a wild horse and and domesticate it it would be a hell of a lot easier to just breed and raise them to be domesticated is it just a dick measuring contest is it is it just to say that you dominated some animal and broke it because that you think it makes you a man is that what it is because i don't like it Good. Bust his fucking fingers. I, I don't understand this is being played for laughs. This is terrible. Get off of my back and into my game. It's a little bit on the nose for a song. Get off of my back. Doesn't quite fit, I don't feel like either. Is this really how they did this? Literally just take horses right from the wild and just jump on them and go? It seems like just pure inefficiency. You know, I bet you they, I bet you they did do it this way. I bet you this is what happened, because I bet you this is where rodeos came from. No shit, Sherlock. Get out of my bag. No food or water. Three days. Mm, he just looks extra pissed now. He's doing that on purpose, too. What a fucking psycho. <laughs> Fuck out with that nonsense. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, I think he gets off on this. This is it is messed up. Yeah, you had to starve and dehydrate him for three days. You're so big and bad. Discipline, time, and patience. And, you know, abuse and force and torture. Oh! Crush his head in. Oh! Hope you broke your tailbone and it never heals right. Aha. Uh -huh. They're all laughing at you, moron. Fuck out of here. <laughs> yes, that is what we call a stampede, so good luck. Why you just run his fat ass over? Thank you. Oh. -ho -ho. I couldn't believe it. more ropes. I don't think he's very happy with you. Cue hungry eyes. Confused too, to be honest. Prancing around him like a love struck yearling. It was downright unnatural. I kind of was thinking the same thing. Today, I will ride you. Today, you will be concussed. <laughs> Threatening her mans. You don't do that. I let her show me her world. <laughs> like you don't even know. I look good. Don't put your hand up his nose. That's essentially what I said not to do. Bye bye, horsey. Oh, that's cute, though. <laughs> I mean, you can tell how conditioned I am by most cartoons. I keep expecting them to talk, and I'm pretty sure at this point they're not gonna talk ever. I felt my heart torn two ways. Family and home. Or the pooty tang. Gonna throw him off. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he won't let them make fun of him. Only he gets to do that. His friends can do that. Friends can make fun of each other. But someone else tries to start shit. It's going down. I'm never gonna ride you, am I? No one ever should. He's gonna ask her to go with him. She's gonna say no. <sighs> oh, fuck off. Oh, whew. And 
and how is that going to help? She's not dead. Ain't no way. Aww. Ah, those fuck twats are coming to get him and he won't go. Even there, he's not gonna make it. I expect you to mount a rescue because you owe him. This is such bullshit! I hate it! Aw, see, now he is broken. Making him eat. This is so sad. But he's got that determined look now. He's gonna fucking make this happen somehow. <laughs> I don't know what he's saying, but they're working out a plan. Damn, man. Respect. That's a lot of horsepower. Did you know that that one horse has 12 horsepower? Figure that fucking shit out. They were headed to my homeland, and I had to stop them. The most depressing part of this is, though, is that even if he succeeds... They're still gonna move into your homeland. <laughs> Fuck you guys. I mean, I know it's more complex than that, and I know this is, you know, expansion of the West and civilization and all that shit, but I'm living in the moment. I'm living in this movie right now, and I'm telling them to go to hell. Go to the side. He's got a chain around his neck. I feel like the chain's gonna get caught on something. Well, that's- that's gonna be a disaster for that local ecosystem, but you got yours, I guess. Yeah, he's gonna snag that chain on- on something. Yeah, look at this guy, he's got balls on him, he has no fear. Didn't even hesitate. Gonna knock him in the water, cause you're bros. <laughs> Oh my god, it never fucking ends! Go, go, go. You may have to let him ride you. Yeah! <laughs> See, but this is just two bros helping each other. This is a friend thing. <laughs> He's still smiling, I can't help it. <laughs> Ooh, that's a busted collarbone. We gotta have a showdown with Colonel Twat Waffle. Oh, yes. Oh, ha <laughs> ha You're either gonna live or you're gonna die. If you're gonna die, you might as well enjoy the ride. And we live! For now. There'll be time for lovemaking later. You gotta get out of here. Really? Really? He's acknowledging he's been beaten? I respect when you realize that it's expending you way more than what you're gonna get out of it. An interesting choice for a climactic event. I notice he hasn't inquired about his girlfriend at all. That's say he's gonna call her. World's best wingman. He's gonna tell her she should go. You will always be in my heart. Take care of her spirit who could not be broken. Aww. I was wrong. Mom made it through the whole thing. So yeah, that is beautiful. The animation for the most part was good. There was some stuff, like when it looked hand-drawn or 2D, the landscape especially looked beautiful. The characters were good on close-up and individually. When big groups of things were moving, like the horses and the herd, or the soldiers, it looked a, looked really plasticky. It looked fake and looked just jarring. It actually took me out of the movie in a few places, to be honest. 
The music again was kind of a mix. It, I didn't mind the songs themselves. They were not bad songs, but they had that Brian Adams late nineties power ballad feel to them. They didn't feel like they belonged in this movie. It didn't fit. I think where people are really going to be divided on this movie is going to be when it comes to the story. If you're taking the story at its most basic, a character who has fallen into a terrible situation and is trying to get home to his family and refusing to let the world break him, and the themes of you know bravery and friendship and trust and loyalty come into play, I think you would probably like this movie because it, it does it does those things well. But then on the other hand, you have these very mature and complex themes being touched on. And because the story is so simple, those really, really complicated themes and, and ideas get oversimplified to a point that it's almost offensively stereotypical in a lot of ways. And I can see that really turning a lot of people off. So I guess overall what you're wanting to know is do I love it or do I hate it? And I'm going to be that ultra annoying person who sits on that fence and says I didn't hate it and I didn't love it. I could see I could see the goodness in it and I can see the things that held it back from being truly great. I try to I try to find the good in everything and I try to find the truth in everything. Some people might not like it. Too fucking bad. <laughs> But if you think I'm wrong one way or the other and you've got a serious case for or against this movie, let me know in the comments. I read them all. And while you're at it, hit that like button, share the video, share the channel, subscribe if you haven't. We sure appreciate it. And in the meantime, hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.